Welcome back to the channel. Today marks video number 11 of this very young channel. So thank you so much to the 90 of you that have subscribed so far. It goes a long way as we're trying to build this community and channel. And if this is your first time joining this channel, what we try to cover here is look at every way possible that crypto allows to uh, get as much crypto as possible, maximize gains and protect profits. Uh, so we will cover things such as IDOs and pre-sales quite a bit. Look for uh, gems that are low market cap gems uh, and decentralized apps like Pancake and Uniswap. And we'll also look for trade setups uh, with blue chips like we're going to do today. So uh, having said that, if you do find value in uh, today's video, uh, definitely like and subscribe uh, so you can join our growing community. I'll be uh, building probably Discord. I was going to do a Telegram, but as, we, as the community grows a little bit more, I think I'm going to go with Discord versus uh, Telegram. And uh, I'll be posting trade setups and um, just different things that will be able to help you uh, gain as much crypto as possible. So let's get into today's topic, which is going to be Chainlink. Uh, it was asked in, in one of the previous videos if I could cover Chainlink. Haven't covered it in quite, I haven't charted it in quite, quite a while, so I did uh, quite a bit to prepare for today's video. Uh, but um, definitely want to get into this because um, after preparing for uh, today's video, uh, Chainlink looked pretty good. So let's get into the chart. And as you can see here, um, Chainlink, um, well, I guess I'll backtrack a little bit. So real quick, Chainlink, it's the 21, 21st biggest coin. Um, so it's a value case that has been more than proven. It's a well-known name. It's a, it's a respected blue chip. And I don't think anyone's worried about Chainlink going anywhere anytime soon. So like I said, it was the 21st biggest coin as of today. And looking at the charts, there's a lot to see here. The first thing is that as many coins, it has been on an ascent, in an ascending channel uh, for quite some time now. Um, and this channel has been incredibly, incredibly trustworthy when it comes to the support levels of the channel. So it was kind of like, you know, for quite a while, it just ran in the channel right here, kind of almost hit the bottom of it September 24th of last year again just about hit it december 24th of last year made a run towards it back in may of this year didn't quite get there again used it as support on the 21st 22nd of july and then recently just hit it again and look at that when it hit that support on december 4th or maybe it was the night of december 3rd can't really tell um it bounced pretty nicely um so plenty of history here stating that we can trust this uh, level of support in this ascending channel. Now, if it were to drop from that, the ascending channel, then we got major problems and it's definitely time to abort mission. But right now, I just don't see any reason to um, not be able to trust um, that beautiful support line. So a couple other things to cover as far as the high end of this ascending channel. Uh, when it hit here on August 4th, uh, dropped significantly, made a run at it back in uh, February of this year, and then hit the hit right here May 9th. Uh, but then again, I kind of charted it based on that, so of course it hit there. But um, and then dropped significantly ever since then. Um, so at its peak, Chainlink was at $53, um, and now it's trading at $20. Um, so first things first, as far as value, this is a really nice value spot. Um, can it drop some more and test the and test this uh, support line again? Yeah, absolutely it can. And maybe it will. Uh, if Bitcoin doesn't play ball, um, it most likely will. Um, and I, you know, I, for those of you who have been watching my videos for quite some time, I am short term bearish on Bitcoin, incredibly bullish midterm and, and long term, but, but short term, I have been bearish on, on Bitcoin and, and believe that we might test kind of like those it's possible that we could test 42K to the 45K range again. And if that happens, then yeah, um, Chainlink would definitely drop down there. But I do think that this is a pretty good spot. Um, even if Bitcoin does drop there, obviously you can get in cheaper then. Long term, mid term, this is a really nice spot to uh, purchase Chainlink. It's just at a, such a nice value spot from this ascending channel. 
And it is at a pretty critical spot, though, if, if from a historical. So, you know, TA always looks left. So as we look left, you can see right here, like, uh, this level right here that we're pretty much on right now, about $20. It looks like the wick maybe got down to like $20.24. It was a top right here. It was around that that range. So I mean, we're at a range from about $21.80 all the way down to about, um, just historically speaking, about $19.25 and or so. Even back here, look at all this. It's just the range that has been critically very important. And it was the high back here of 1972. So as long as we can stay above that range, it's just going to be nothing but blue skies, I think, for uh, chain link until we get to some of these other more critical levels of support, of uh, resistance. And it had been the resistance for quite a while. I mean, if you look here, um, you know, kind of like that 30. 34 to 35 range has been some pretty big resistance. If you want to count the, the wicks, um, it would definitely be up a little higher than that. But if you want to just look at the closes, uh, 34 and change, 34 and change again over here, again over here, again over here. I know I'm repeating myself, again over here, again over here. So, you know, that 34 to 35, 36 range has been awfully important and um, a lot of static there. So. You know, if you're looking at uh, exit uh, points for a trade for Chainlink, if you're just wanting to do kind of like a swing trade, uh, a midterm trade, I mean, that's where I would look to take profit is around the 34 range. Um, just looking left, I mean, that that seems to be the most obvious answer. So still, uh, you know, that's about $14 from now, 14 out of 20. That's like a 70% return. So that's pretty nice. And also what's interesting about that is if you look at the MACD, which is about to turn positive. So the, the Momo is about to turn positive. I mean, this is what this is implying right here. The last time that it was about to go positive was September 30th, September 30th. So we look at that date of September 30th. Let's see where Link was on September 30th. It was at 21 and then it ran all the way up to 38, 17. Uh, wow, so pretty nice gain there, about 85% return. Um, so yeah, so the last time that, that the momentum on the MACD was about to turn positive, it went on a very nice run, and that's what it looks like. That's what the MACD oscillator is implying, that the momentum is about to turn positive, we're about to go on a nice run. Of course, if Bitcoin doesn't play ball and goes down to about, you know, to test down the 42 to 45K range, then we'll have to be a little patient, but that run is coming. Um, so yeah, there, there's a lot of factors that make me really like it. And if we just look at... Um, just to add some um, Fibonacci uh, levels, if we kind of look at here, here, this was kind of like the last big low. We'll plot it to that big high. Um, you will see again, look at that. Um, what I was talking about there, the 38.2, which is the other way around 618. Six, um, yeah, just a big level there. Um, and look at that boom right there traders took profits right there right at that level they pretty much took profits most of them at that level there was still a little bit of some a, a little bit more fomo kind of kicked in there but still looks like the close was below that level um so you can see and again look right here so i i would definitely take profit right before we hit this this level right here of 36 dollars and 37 cents and some people might try to front run it um, and may not even get there, might come real close to it. So maybe you want to play it safe and just have your 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 uh, your, your limit trades uh, at uh, at 36. Um, that way it doesn't this doesn't happen while you're asleep um, and then you miss out on, on, on maybe like 5% of gains or something. But that's kind of like where I would look to take profits. Um, however, as far as a long term, long term. Uh, perspective and long-term kind of uh, you know prediction um, I did want to I did want to show one more thing as I'm trying to get rid of these okay so one thing that I want to show is well this ascending channel has a lot of possibility right so if we want to get into the prediction of how how high can chain link go um, well it can go really really high um, 
as far as long as it, it if it were to top out on the ascending channel I'm, and I guess you're just gonna have to trust me on this I, I was having a hard time getting this to focus but what I was trying to do is, is show at a high point of the ascending channel where Chainlink would, would be at the end of 2022 if it were to reach the high point of this ascending channel and it could get as high uh, as a dollar uh, as $128 a coin $128 a coin in 2022 if it were to top out on that ascending channel and and even if it was to bottom out in this ascending channel at the end of, of 2022 I can't understand why I can't get this to, to work right now oh there we go this is what I was trying to do earlier um there we go so as you can see here at the end of 2022 there we go bear with me yeah we're looking I'm sorry it was a 123 $123 chain link and if we were going to look at the bottom of it at the end of the year it still looks I think it was higher than what it is now $22 a coin so um, futures looking pretty good as far as you know if it stays on this ascending channel um, but what I was going to end the, the video with is just because of the fact that uh, Chainlink has been all over the place and it, you know, chances are that it's probably going to top out when it hits the top of this ascending channel again. What I would probably do is, you know, say that you decide to take profits at 36 and then jump back in because the oscillators and the TA looks good and it's time for the next run. And you're up here somewhere and it's like the middle of 2022. If it hits the top of this ascending channel again, I would definitely sell. If it if it if it hits it bounces off it it's not going to hit it again probably anytime soon so um, just got to be really careful with that because I think that that's going to be the most likely scenario um, so yeah I'm incredibly bullish on on Chainlink I think that um, we all know that the value case is there the fundamental case is there that's not a concern um, at all um, so I think the uh, the coolest thing about about Chainlink is that it, there really seems to be like a lot of opportunity to maybe as much as four six x your money um, and the downside is, is quite minimal so I would definitely um, even though I'm not a financial advisor and everything I say and do is for fun entertainment and inspiration um, I really like Chainlink and um, um, yeah so I hope this answers the questions that you guys had about Chainlink so um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video uh, please uh, like and subscribe if uh, you found value in today's video and uh, just let me know in the comments if there's a specific project or token that you want me to cover um, and I will be more than happy to do it. So I'll see you in the next video. Take care.